Now we'll start with imputed data following the mice algorithm or mice function. So you need to define that you are following mice and also the data type whether and refer to the number of variables. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine variables. Okay, this is the number of iteration and this is the method. The PMM method, this method is related to continuous data. That means it's not for categorical data because mostly we are focusing on this continuous data to a numerical data. So even you can call it numerical data. Okay, so in this case we have a mostly numerical data. So it won't work effectively for the events but it will give us also the results but we can consider this for the numerical data and this is your seeds now let's run it and let's see this is the iteration it will take a while because what is making it's making 50 times 50 iteration and in every iteration we have nine tests for every variable okay so it will take a while until it's reached 50 here. So, okay now we are done you can see we reach to the maximum number of iteration 50 and for every iteration we have nine trials for each nine numbers or nine probabilities for every variable okay so now let's check the imputed values so for example i want to check now the imputed or the filling for the events so you write imputed data then you put the this sign and you put int okay this is all the this is, uh, fixed you can change this one here this is your uh, variables so if you want to check events precipitation they check the precipitation okay so what is this result so we have nine solutions because we already give for each so we have nine solutions okay then for uh, solution number one this is the result and we see that for example this one it's the trial number trial number one and two nine and this one it's the cell value row number so if you open the weather and you go to the precipitation definitely you see it start from seven seven is the first value the missing value and what is the value now the imputed value it's zero after that 17 if you scroll down you reach to the we are here in the precipitation you scroll down or if you like you can just sort it yes sort it like this sorted based sort better so the first one it's number seven second one cell within 17 so it will show you also like this 21 39 okay so and it's this is the missing data this is the expected or this is the predicted okay or interpolated value okay so you can see also the range between uh, sorry 11 and still within the range of precipitation here and some of them zeros because you have too much zeros also so in the iteration number two we have different values so now based on which iteration you want to choose you can select it to be your new data okay so we see here for example we said okay we need this data so as we said you can do the imputed and you check for any value for precipitation or you can check for example for humidity okay low or high also it's giving you now all the nine probabilities and you start with the cell 26 31 this is the missing 
Okay, now you said, for example, I found that number three, it's the best option for me. And I will show you how to determine which one is the best solution for you. Okay, let's say you decided that I will choose number three out of nine. Okay, so this is the new data set, complete and give me the trial number three. Okay, so for me, I check that, okay, I mainly, I focus on the humidity. So in the humidity, uh, uh, the missing the value just in humidity. Uh, actually, most of the data you can't have missing in everywhere. Maybe you will have two variables. Okay, so you can change them. And which one? It's it show you less error. You can choose. So I choose probability number three. Okay. So you write this code. Complete the data that you work on the imputed data and number three. Okay. So now you run this one. Now you have a new data set completed. Uh, sorry, we need to change this one as we are choosing number three. Okay, complete three. Now you just, uh, if you like to see the header now. Okay, so now if you go to weather and we start with the uh, example. Okay, just a demo. So, uh, in temperature, we have number 11. Number 11. So, come to 11. 10, 12, should 10 should be 18 now. Yes, 10 should be 18. And also, for the 12, should be 16. Yes. So, in between, they're missing. Now, it's become 20. Okay. So this is for temperature. If you come to a dew point in number nine, eight, you have 11 and 10, 11. Okay, and you come here also. So you notice that nine, 11, 10, 11, and let's predict 11 to be in the middle and so on. For the rest of the data, you can check, you can see the missing data within the uh, range of the data just if you check for the events you might see some errors for example mainly it was rain but it's changed even the original data and that's why this method is not recommended for the category data okay fair enough 